Unless you're playing Call of Duty on ultra settings, your device shouldn't be overheating. Malware, especially crypto miners, can push your hardware hard, even when you're just checking emails. If your phone feels like a hand warmer for no reason, that's not just annoying, it could be dangerous. Overheating shortens device lifespan and might be your only clue that something's working overtime inside. If your phone's on standby, but your battery's dropping faster than your motivation after three hours of productivity, malware could be running behind the scenes, downloading files, sending out spam, or constantly pinging external servers. If you notice apps using up data when they're supposedly inactive, that's sketchy. If your phone or laptop suddenly feels like it's from 2005, malware might be to blame. Malicious software often runs silently in the background, draining processing power and slowing everything down. Sure, sometimes it's just too many Chrome tabs, but if your device is lagging for no good reason, even when idle, that's not normal. Something shady could be running silently. You open your browser and see ads, pop-ups, banners for miracle pills and free iPhones. This is classic adware, a type of malware that spams your screen with aggressive and often inappropriate ads. It doesn't just happen on shady websites. Once your system is infected, the ads show up everywhere. Bonus red flag. If your homepage or search engine suddenly changes to something weird, it's time for a scan. Ever seen an app and thought, wait, did I download this? Some malware sneaks in disguised as useful tools or hides inside fake system updates. They might not even have app icons, they're that sneaky. Always scroll through your installed apps and remove anything suspicious or unfamiliar. And if you uninstall it, but it keeps coming back, that's a huge red flag. If you type google.com and end up on a totally different website, you're likely dealing with a browser hijacker. This type of malware redirects your searches, changes your default search engine, and floods you with junk results. It can even install shady browser extensions without your permission. The worst part? These hijacks can collect what you search for and send it to who knows where. One of the first things malware often does is attack your defenses. If your antivirus suddenly can't update, won't open, or gets shut down automatically, malware might be taking control. It's like a burglar cutting your phone lines before breaking in. You might also notice that you can't visit certain websites, especially ones related to security. That's not a coincidence. Have you ever gotten a notification about a login from a city you've never been to? Some malware logs, your keystrokes, steals your passwords, or hijacks your session cookies. That means someone can access your accounts without ever needing to crack your password directly. If your online banking, email, or social accounts show unfamiliar logins, take it seriously. If friends start saying you sent them weird messages and you didn't, malware could be spreading through your contacts. It might send fake links, phishing scams, or infected attachments using your name. People are more likely to trust a message from you, which makes this tactic super effective. So if someone asks, did you really send me a link to free crypto? You probably didn't. This is the malware equivalent of kicking down the front door. A full screen message appears, demanding payment to unlock your files or threatening legal action. This is ransomware or scareware designed to shock you into acting fast. Real talk, if this happens, your system is already compromised. Do not pay and don't click anything until you know what you're dealing with. Okay, deep breaths if any of these hit close to home, here's what you need to do next. Disconnect from the internet, cut off any external communication the malware might be having with command servers. Scan your device with trusted tools. Use reputable software like Malwarebytes, Bitdefender, or Microsoft Defender, not random apps from the App Store. Update your software. Patches fix the exact vulnerabilities malware uses to get in, so don't skip updates. Change your passwords, but do it from a clean device. If your current one is infected, any new password you type might get stolen too. Back up your data, then consider a factory reset. If nothing works and you keep getting reinfected, starting from scratch might be your safest bet. 
Malware is evolving fast and hiding in ways antivirus software can't always detect. Subscribe if you want to learn where modern malware hides and how hackers are outsmarting traditional defenses.